Hi guys, it's uh, me again, Fly with me FPV, and uh, what I have here is a smart charger from Ultra Power. It's a portable or a pocket charger, and uh, it's rated at 400 watts, 16 amps. So, by paper, this is quite impressive. Oh, by the way, this doesn't come with a power supply. This is just a charger. So it came with this box, and uh, we're gonna go through the you know, spec sheet here at the back of the box and see how or if we can hit those uh, numbers. Well, it says here is 32 volt input voltage. I only have a 24 volt uh, power supply, so we will focus on that and see you know, how it does charging um, 6S or 4S packs. So let's quickly open this. And that's what it came with. So I would say the plastic is pretty decent. It's not, you know, it doesn't feel cheap or doesn't like will fall apart. So I would say there's a bit of quality put into this. There's actually a tin film here of plastic that I already removed. Uh, manual, who reads the manual? <laughs> I went to the manual actually, and uh, I would say English is good on manual, decent decently written uh, compared to the other manuals that uh, I got from other FPV related gear so anyways that's what it came with again it didn't come with a power supply so uh, you need to make sure that if you're gonna purchase this or any of those packet pox or pocket or portable chargers out there uh, chances are they also did come with a power supply so XT60 connector there. It says here 932 volts. USB port here. Uh, says PC link. I'm not going to go through that. There might be used for firmware updates, but uh, it uses this type of uh, you know roller wheel, and you press to select. We'll go through that uh, later. I'll plug in a power supply. So. XD60 on this side and balance port up to 6S on this side. So basically you can plug in a parallel board and uh, plug it here and charge uh, multiple packs if you want to. Yeah, so it's pretty, I, I don't know what this is, but it says external DS. Well, I'm not going to go through that. Anyways, let's uh, quickly power it up. I got a... 16 volt, uh, sorry, eight, 18 volt power supply. It can go up to 18 volts, but uh, we'll plug it in on this side, not on this side. That's the source. There you go. So let's go through the menu. So to select whatever you know changes you want to do, or just press battery lipo, LFE, lilo. Or lit on, sorry, that's lithium ion. High voltage and so on and so forth. Now, press it again to select cells. Uh, you can do 1S, 2S, up to 6S. Now, with this cell, sometimes I do change it, sometimes I don't. With the other portable chargers, it's supposed to be a smart charger, so once you plug the balance port, it should detect. Now, there's mode, charge, discharge, storage. I don't know what EXT, DISC mean, but. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now we're gonna go to the discharge uh, or to go to storage charge and make just to be sure that I explain uh, you know what are the limitations of uh, using this type of chargers as a discharger. Current uh, as rated, it should go up to 16 amps. So we will try to try uh, see if we can achieve that. TVC. So select it again. And then TVC, this is just, uh, I think, the cutoff. And select again. I'll just keep it at 420. Start back. So, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Now, we're going to try to do a charge so that, uh, you know, we can see, again, if we can reach those numbers. And then we'll see, I believe this could also check internal assistance while it is charging so that you can see how it looks like on the screen. And I believe if you press this a few seconds and hold it, you will get into the system setup menu. So language, English, uh, I don't know what that, uh, that is, but stick with English. 
maximum input power is 450 watts so you can lower it down but 450 watts is basically I think if you do the ops law math you should be able to achieve that uh, with 20 or close to it 25.2 uh, volts on the input side now minimum minimum input voltage uh, so you can go yeah so that's weird it says here 12 volts but here it says 9 to 32 but anyways uh, I'll just go with that oh you could actually lower it sorry yeah so let's keep it at 12 volts because I don't have any power supply lower than 12 volts anyways capacity cutoff uh, that is 15,000 milliamp hour if you had that battery maybe you can if you have a bigger battery than that sure go change that time cut is 180 minutes that is three hours backlight low high change it to high again press to select and then change the options and then press it again volume medium you could go as high if you notice that change oh, so that's too loud let's go medium about it gives you the firmware hardware and factory reset which we don't want to do so yeah again to get to that menu you just press and hold boom there you go now uh, you have to go to the bottom and press back to go back to the main menu now to select the stuff here you need to press quickly see that's, that's the difference press and hold goes to the system setup one press quick those to the uh, options menu so yeah let's try uh, charging some packs and see if we can uh, achieve the numbers oh before we go there I'm just gonna focus on the spec sheet here now another thing is that the discharge current here says point zero point one to three amps three amps is uh, decent but I never use these portable chargers really uh, to discharge because when you're discharging you have to dissipate heat and I think oh by the way uh, we'll find out if the fan is quiet once we start charging I don't think these you know chargers are built for that and that's why it only says 3 amps now it says here too 15 amps external discharge mode so I google that because I don't think this can do 15 amps to discharge Apparently, there's another uh, device that is uh, sold by Ultra Power to attach to this, and that's basically doing the discharging for you to achieve 15 amps. And everything else is kind of you know, straightforward. So let's uh, plug in um, some packs and see, you know, if uh, this actually uh, can do the numbers that is indicated in the box. All right, so you saw I had six packs, sorry, six, six S1300 packs in there uh, on a parallel charging board attached to this, uh, sorry, this uh, charger. I did change my, uh, all of the packs, by the way, are uh, in storage charge. So we're starting off uh, at 3.8 something. So I don't usually charge that, the, that much packs in one go on a parallel board maximum I do is two so I use a bat safe just to be safe because I don't know well something might go sideways and you know safety first I got this bat safe and the batteries are in there uh, we're gonna keep on running if you notice it's holding 16 amps which is uh, pretty impressive for a small portable uh, charger like this now the fan kicked in which is good meaning uh, you know it's when it's heating up it automatically turns on so from a noise point of view I would say it's not as noisy as the other printers oh sorry printers other chargers that I've tested in the past so from that point of view it is uh, it is good so we're gonna let this run and see uh, if it uh, 
does 16 or at least close to 16 until it finish uh, charging it will trickle down when you get close to uh, 4.2 so now that it's charging uh, I think you should be able to check the internal resistance so there you go you just basically don't press just scroll the, the wheel downwards and then go up so it gives you the internal resistance now if you really want to check internal resistance with these uh, chargers you, you can't really uh, have more than one on your board so charge one at a time if you want to check internal resistance that way the numbers will just be for that pack so if you scroll down another one or you you know move the wheel it will give you the temperature and the uh, voltage I think this is the input voltage but so if you want to go back just scroll up and then down to check those values all right so yeah that went well 17 minutes and 53 seconds to charge six 6s six packs at 16 amp which is uh, the maximum it can do based on uh, spe the, sorry, the, the spec sheet. Now, one of the things too that I, I would like to test is, does this uh, charger have some sort of a uh, step up transformer? What I'm trying to say is that, what if I, for example, charge a 6S uh, and my power supply is 16 volts only? Will it charge? I know for a fact that uh, the ISDD chargers can do that because that's what I'm doing um, in the field. I got a field charger with a massive amount of batteries, but it's all 4S rated, so that's 16, 16 volts or 15 volts, and it, I can charge uh, my 6S packs one at a time. So let's try doing that and see if it can do it. I will change my uh, supply input to uh, 16 volts and see how uh, it does. All right, so I have a 6S pack 1300 that is on storage charge 3.8. If you can see that now, if we scroll down, you can see that my supply is 15.3. It's coming from my uh, field charger. Basically, these are just big uh, 4S packs in uh, parallel. And we will try to charge this at 2C, which is 2.6. And let's see if it actually charges it. So we'll make sure we change that. That's too high. So we'll bring it down to 2.6 or 2C, a 6S, and it's a charge. And then uh, we hit start. What I'm trying to show here is that the input voltage is less than what we're charging and uh, this charger can actually do it. It's like it's stepping up the voltage, so that's pretty good. The fan hasn't kicked in yet, meaning you know it's it's not uh, there's no heat, so that automatically turns on, which is good. I think there's some some sort of a, a temperature uh, sensor in there. Uh, it actually kicked in very fast when I was charging the uh, six six S on one parallel board. So, anyways. This is a something that is good to know that this charger can do. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know what else to show you uh, about this printer. I'm pretty impressed uh, with the basic features, plus you know the the fan uh, it doesn't generate that much noise. Plus, you can do uh, you know stuff like a step up charging, which is really good. The form factor is not that big uh, compared to the SC, you know. 608 that I've been using for a while uh, side by side now if you want to see how it looks like compared to the ISDT Q6 plus uh, this is rated at 300 watts 14 amps so you get more from this but again it all depends on uh, the input uh, voltage or input power that you you provided so this retails for $65 I think it's a good uh, uh, price point for what you get and uh, for the form factor it's not as you know it's a bit bigger than the other ISDD charge I have but it fits my, uh, my my backpack when I go flying or in my ammo can where 
I have uh, field charging batteries. So if you have any questions and comments, just put it on the comment uh, section below. Uh, this is available at SN Hobbies. I will put the link or product description uh, link to the description area in the video. Uh, thank you guys and uh, until the next video.